All right, what is going on, guys? It is reset day. So, what do we have this week? Well, we're going to have a look. That's why you're here, right? So, we're going to go straight with the gunsmith. Let's have a look what the gunsmith has today. By the way, if you find these useful and do go on to enjoy them, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. So, this week, the gunsmith is selling the number with field prep and mud skill clip. There's Whisper again, both weapon Genesis. Ostringer with Compulsive Reloader and Rampage. The Tapian 4FR with Clown Cartridge and Firing Line. Any new players that do not have a decent weapon, you need a good weapon just to get you in raids, pick that up. Uh, we have the Glissando 47 with Cascade Point and Overflow. That's, that's interesting, that. That's quite interesting. That could that could sort of synergize together because you're technically picking up ammo which is overloading you, which you got to use that to get, you know, which works with cascade point. That sort of works. So that's an interesting one if you like that weapon. And then we have the golden tricorn, no distractions, bat scar with perpetual motion head seeker, extended mag arrowhead. That could be. Um, that could be quite fun. For the Galu RR3, no distractions, focus fury. We've got combined action with hip fire, grip, and vault shot. That's <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Wait, and vault shot? It's arc? Oh! Alright, grabbing that. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Uh, then we have memory interdict with clown cartridge elemental capacitor. That's, that's actually not terrible either, to be fair. Like your grenade launchers, and then finally, we have the Typhon GL5 with Demolitionist and One for All. That's actually again, that's actually not bad. So, there you go, Let's see what we get from that red bat. Cool, Let's see what from this old sterling. Cool, all right, moving on. We will go, you know, we're gonna go to Ada One, we're gonna go to Ada One, Let's see what's, what's going on. Let's see what shaders are available. This week, and of course we can uh, we can pet the doggo. Got wabbit season going on up there. Let's see. Got pet the doggo. There he is. The doggo. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Have some good shaders. Come on. Let's see. Hello. All right. So we have. Uh, Bagusian Knight. That actually looks pretty cool on that shade on the uh, on the arc armor. That actually didn't look too bad. Uh, we got the Karis Bronze. That was pretty cool. And we have the new Monarchy Diamonds. Okay, that looks pretty sick. That's like Iron Man, but like with some like why is it <laughs> coming out? That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll head up to Hawthorne because it's another fishing quest, which I believe is for... I mean, I think it is. I think it's for the new exotic that hasn't released but has released yet. I think. Not sure. But people are guessing anyway, so let's see what uh, Hawthorne's got. Quest-wise, it's probably go fishing on Nessus, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Nessus. Wait. So there's that. We'll, uh, grab a couple of these. Take care of yourself, okay? And then let's head over to. Head over to the courtyard. We'll head down to Zabala in a sec. So, Vanguard strikes. If you do your three strikes, you'll get a exotic powerful gear to one. Uh, what you'll need to do is be on Strand or Arc in order to get that. So then, yes, yeah, so basically, if you're on that, then you're sorted. Then we'll head over to Zavala. We'll see what the weapon is for Grandmasters. Probably going to guess it is... No, oh, the fusion was last week. Ooh, the Braytech Offspray. 
I haven't actually got that yet, so I've got the Braytec Offspray this time. Interesting. So, what's the Nightfall you need to do to get that? Let's see, Vanguard, got Nightfall, Grandmaster Nightfall is the Sight Ops Battleground on the Moon. So you got Barry and Unstoppable Champions in that, uh, along with Arc Surge and Void Surge with overcharged machine guns. So, obviously you get your Pinnacle and you get your Powerful Gear from doing that. Do it on Normal, yeah, it's a bit easier. But you won't get your Adept Weapon. Moving on through Gambit, just do your three matches, you'll get an Exotic. Crucible, we got Control, Team Scorch, Crucible Labs, which is Elimination. You got Comp, which will drop your Sniper. Um, then obviously your normal modes, which will drop your, uh, your exotic. We got King's Fall, which is Pinnacle this uh, this week. Also, if you need Touch of Malice, you can farm that. Dungeon-wise, we have Grasp of Avarice, uh, which also has a Master Mode if you need Artifice Armor. I actually need to farm that, to be honest. Um... Moving on to the Lost Sector. Lost Sector is Exotic Arms. You got Barrier and Overload, Void Threat with Arc and Solar Shields with Hot Knife as a modifier. And moving on to the challenges available. So, week 6. We have completed the week 6 into Depth's mission. Uh, open chest and deep dive activities, redeeming deep dive keys, grant bonus progress. Uh, successfully complete a pressure trial encounter on any depth in deep dive activity. Catch large or bigger fish at any fish pond. Generate orbs of power in Vanguard, Crucible or Gambit. Uh, defeat opponents in Crucible with auto rifles, hand cannons, scouts, glaives or linear fusions. Additional progress is granted for landing final blows with glaives, linear fusions and hand cannons that use special ammo. So, Ariana's Val is just going to be all over Crucible. Let me get that done quicker. Beat bosses in Vanguard Strikes or Vanguard Playlist. And stun 50 champions. Moving on to the store, finally. Let's see what we get from the Inverse Engram. Dream Streak ship. Cool. We have Heat Shielded Shader. Nice, like, silver and yellow slash orange. We got Hazard Pay. I noticed the stores actually weren't laggy that time. Maybe they fixed things. We got Can Father Transmat Effect. We have a Malfeasance Ornament. We have um, Mandolin Assistance. Ba -da -dum. Nice little emote there. You got quick cardio emote. Just jump on treadmill and go for a sprint. We have come at me. Then we have the Exotech shell. Altering Explorer. That looks pretty cool to infer that. We have the loaded question. Uh, ornament, powerful statement. We've got Wish Ender, Pillar's Whim ornament. And we've got Lunar Rabbit Projection. We got Signal Intercept. Heartbreaking Entrance. Vex Invasion Effects, Lucid Shader, Golden Age Wine, which goes very well with the, uh, I mean, that's basically the default look, really, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Atmospheric Flow, and finally we have Temperature Wash. Yeah, so I think I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Uh, the fishing is 
Um, oh, Chrome World and Nessus. Okay, we got increased activity uh, detected in Miasma, Chrome World, and Cistern on Nessus. Cool. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Especially if you found this useful. Uh, if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.